Rockefeller Central Plaza. Now the tall building directly across from us, that is 30 Rock. 30 Rock is the tallest building here at Rockefeller Center. And on top of this building, you'll find the top of the Rock Observation Deck. Also here within 30 Rock, you'll find the NBC Studios, where they take Saturday Night Live, the Jimmy Fallon Show, and the NBC Nightly News hosted by Brian Williams. Now, you're also standing in an area that some of you might be looking and say, hey, wait a minute, I thought they ice skated here. You know, well, they do. It's just too warm right now for ice skating, okay? But they'll be back at Broadway show, so we're actually on Broadway at the moment. 
and I'll do like a view for you. <laughs> That's my friend Joe. <laughs> Okay, so if I can vlog in there, I will do, and obviously I'll add that in. Um, I hope I'm in shot, and yeah, I hope everyone's doing great, and um, we better head over now, so I'll see you soon, bye! So I'm just going to vlog our room we're staying in at the moment. This is our bathroom. You'll have to excuse the mess. Obviously, it's two girls um, in here. So, and we've just got up. It's about um, half nine in the morning, and we've been for breakfast and everything. So, just to show you around. This is the shower, and you've got the toilet, the mirror there, and then just the sink towels it's just like all of our stuff so that's the bathroom and then out here is just our room just got the door excuse my friend <laughs> if that picked up then we've just got a like, kitchenette here we haven't really used that much in the fridge we've just got 
some water and drinks that's it really and then this is the room just our what do they call this in America a closet yeah the closet <laughs> the safe and then just our beds excuse the beds that I say we haven't long been up so they're not made of anything then we've just got the telly and then just a desk which is a little bit messy at the moment <laughs> just got a few things lying around All right, girls. <laughs> and there's my friend Joe. No. <laughs> and this is just like the floor you can see we're quite messy we're not very tidy I'll show you the view out the window this is the view we're on the 23rd floor there's obviously a car park there and just look how massive them buildings are they're just huge this is the view. I'll try and show you down there. So you can see that's the road down there. So it shows how high up we are. And that's just the view. I don't really know what these are. I'm guessing they're just other hotels. And there's over there, if I can zoom you in. That is the River Hudson, I think. Yeah, so this is our room. So we've just been down to breakfast because we get um we get breakfast included in our room. So we've just been down for breakfast and um oh over there you can see some of like Times Square. You can see there if I zoom you in a bit. See it there. Today we are going to, we're going shopping, going to Woodbury Common, which is a massive, premium. like yeah, outlet and um, designer outlet, designer premium outlet, it premium. something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, as <laughs> Joe's holding over her face, it's this Woodbury one. Common premium outlets. <laughs> that's all the shops. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're going. We're going to try and have some fun <laughs> yeah that's where we're going today so obviously I'll vlog as much as I can in there I don't know if you're allowed to like vlog in shops and things so yeah so that is our bedroom we are sleeping in uh, it's 25 to 10 oh is it? anyway better go because we've got to go and get the bus but <laughs> see you soon, bye <laughs> <Better go, yeah. laughs> bargainous okay so here we are Oh, Michael Kors, that might be quite good. Oh, Michael okay. Kors. Okay. So we are now at the Designer Premium Outlet. That's what it's called, isn't it? Designer Pre Woodbury Premium Outlet. Common Premium yeah, Woodbury Outlet. Yeah, Woodbury Common Premium Outlet. I thought it was all inside, so I haven't brought my sunglasses and I don't like being blinded by the sun. Um, we've already found some bargains. Um, I'll zoom round so you can see all like, the design. been in Gucci, Prada, we went into Dior, Jimmy Choo, oh that might be quite good, just go in there, it's all just like designer stuff, we've got a coupon booklet, very English using our coupon booklets, <laughs> saving as much money as we can, <laughs> coupon, I love the coupon, <laughs> 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 so there's Jimmy Choo. Make sure you have some. What is it? <laughs> grape jelly. Grape jelly. I highly recommend the grape jelly. <laughs> we're doing really bad American accents for everything, and we're probably embarrassing ourselves, and people are thinking, like, what? But you know, you it's all fun. And here's Jimmy Choo. We are about to enter. So I don't know if we'll be allowed to record in there, so I'll go now and I'll vlog some more later. Bye! Hello everyone, we are now back in our room. Um, I didn't vlog much there because there wasn't that much to vlog really. Um, we weren't allowed to do it in the, like vlogging the shops, so there wasn't really much else to vlog. So we are now back in our room, our feet are killing. 
we wore trainers but oh I really really ache now um, we did find a few bargains I'll quickly show you my bags that's my bags of what I got and that's Joe's bag so we did find some bargains and we did use one of the coupons out of our coupon book although it was a rather large book but never mind um, yeah so I think we're gonna go out now to get some food not sure where we're just gonna look around and then um, go to Ripley's didn't we say yeah go to Ripley's believe it or not which is just down there just down there just down there so not long sure, to walk which is really good because our feet are really killing um, it's open till like 1am is it 1am or 2? 1 1am one, yeah, 1 so got plenty of time last entry is at 12 oh is it? our last entry is at 12 so we've got plenty of time to get ready go out have some food some dinner and then go to Ripley's um, yeah hopefully I don't know if I'll be able to vlog anything in there either I don't know if they like it or not um, yeah so I'll show you where we're going to dinner when we go and decide and I'll take you along okay <laughs> so yeah that's it really um, so I'll see you when we find out where we're gonna go for dinner okay bye Hello everyone, so we've just got back from um, going to the Ripley's Believe It or Not. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't that impressed with it. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I've never been to one before, so I was a little bit disappointed. I thought we were going to see like loads of like really weird things and just things like that, and it wasn't really. I was quite surprised by it, but it was okay. At least we could say we've done it now. Um, we've just got back to our room because we're quite tired and um, we are going to the um, World Trade Centre Memorial tomorrow, we've got the visitors pass for that and also doing the Empire State Building tomorrow and hopefully going to this restaurant thing that looks really good so we're going to do that tomorrow so we're really tired after our shopping trip so we're just going to try and get some sleep now um we've just actually come back in and as we're walking back to our hotel guess what i popped into yay the really funky bag i love their bags i'm definitely keeping this bag i've got one i kept from florida and so i'm definitely keeping that one because i think that's bigger than the one i got in florida so yeah hello everyone so we're at the 9-11 memorial um site now and it's really really pretty you can probably see behind me the new building you see up there i'll show you And this is what it all looks like, just spin around. And here's the water fountain they've done. I'll take you over there and I hope you can hear me over the water. But this is the water fountain. And around it, there's the names of all the people that obviously died. You know, goes all the way round so there's like a big and this plaque goes like all the way round the whole thing there's two of these pools there's one over there as well and they've all got the names on them It's just really, just really pretty.
other pool, so this is the other one, and apparently this is actually where the original World Trade Centres stood. Obviously now they're being built behind us, like rebuilt. And then you call the names again. Just going along, like all the way round. One of the new ones. See how high it is. Yeah, you can see all the construction work. And that building there, just that one right there, is going to be um, a museum for the 9/11. Um, it's not really, it's not currently finished being built. It's going to finish next. I think it's opening next year on like September the 11th on the anniversary. That's going to open. So obviously we can't go in it. Day, but that's what that's going to be. We've just got the trees, and it's just like a really nice place. It's really like emotional when you like see all the names and like what used to stand here. <coughs> and over there, I don't know if you can see them where them white umbrellas are. If I zoom you in a bit, you can see like them white umbrellas and then people standing. Um, that's like a computer system that you can search like people's names on so if you had a relative that um, died and you wanted to find their name on here like just on like one of these you can go over there and type in their name and it tells you which pool it's on and like whose names they're next to and it comes up a little photo of them as well which is really really nice it's really I think it's really well thought out how they've done this I think it's really really like nice memorial for them I think really and as well we found out that on them computers you can request whose name like they went next to so I think it was like if you worked with someone or if they worked with someone and they were like friends then you could request to have their name put next to each other like on these plaques which is another really nice thing so yeah it's just really turn around so you can see me it's just really emotional it's like you just can't imagine like that happening here you just think like the devastation it caused it's just awful it's really sad so i hope you can hear me above all like the water noise but i can't really ask them to turn it off <laughs> so yeah just think like, the devastation it caused but it's really pretty So at the moment we're in Battery Battery Park, I think, and we've come to see the Sphere, which was apparently by the World Trade Centres, and um, they like fell on top of it when they obviously collapsed. And when they cleared all the area, they found that underneath, and you can see the damage from it. Just to zoom you back out. You can see the damage at the top, and you can see all the bottom is all like ripped apart and things and I don't know what it's meant to be but it's called the sphere and you can see at the top it's all like dented in where you'll see the fell on top of it and this is just the park and then you've got the river Hudson over there if you can see that between the trees I don't know what's going on there if you could pick up that music I don't know what that is yeah, so I just thought I'd show you that. Hi everyone, so now we are up on the Empire State Building. We're on the 86th floor, the observatory bit. And we're quite high up, let me show you the view. That's, this is the view from 
the um, wall that we're on. You can go higher, but we didn't have tickets for that. I'll show you down there. That's how high up we are. It's like crazy. You're not as bad as Dora. You're a big satchel. It's wicked, isn't it? I'm just like, yeah, you know, can't believe I could. Have you looked down? No, I've done the inner bit. It's brilliant. We're really close to the spire. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. I don't know what any of these buildings are. I know, but that's, it's, it's book looking good. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, no, I don't. So is that, is that what we sailed on yesterday, that river? Yeah. So what's that, the River Hudson? So that's the River Hudson that you can see there. Oh, Tony. Tony. I wonder if we can see our hotel. Because <laughs> we're like the other side of it. Oh, yeah, it's not that far, is it? No. Oh. It's just crazy. Let's see if I can get... Another view all the way down. from the Empire State Building. We're quite high up. And obviously you can walk around the whole of this deck and see all the different buildings. side we think that building there is the new world trade center and if you look there see how much I can zoom you in that is the Statue of Liberty just there if you can see her obviously she's facing the other way but that's the Statue of Liberty the view from the Empire State Building I zoom you right back out River. Strawberry. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
we've just come to this restaurant. Um, we're actually in a hotel, it's the Mario Marquez Hotel. What is it? Marriott, Marriott Marquez Hotel. And we're in the View restaurant. We're just in the lounge bit. And it's actually like a rotating restaurant. And if I show you the view out the window, you can see that we're slightly moving. If you just watch the film, you can see that we're slightly moving. And it rotates 360 degrees in like an hour. So you get to see the whole view down onto like Broadway in New York. You just see that we're just slightly moving. And we've ordered some drinks. Joe has got champagne. She's trying to be upmarket. <laughs> And I've got a cocktail which is called a peach cooler, I think, and it's really strong. So I'm not sure what state I'm going to be in when I walk out of here. But yeah, it's a really nice restaurant. It looks really, really posh. But that is the view outside, and we just see. We obviously will see like the whole 360. So I just thought I'd show you. We're not sure where to eat after this. We were thinking TGI Fridays if we can find it, or. Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. And obviously I'll vlog where we do finally decide to eat. That is nice. Do you think so? <laughs> Hello everyone! So we didn't end up going to TGI Fridays. We walked all the way up there, <laughs> only to be told they were closed. So, we are now heading back to our room, and there's a Chinese, like, a little bit further down from our hotel. So, we're gonna see if they're open, see if we can get Chinese, and take it back to our room to be. So, I just thought that I would vlog our street that we were on, and this is it. So this is our street and if you can see that tall building with the blue lights, that's our hotel I think, or it's next to it, but I'll show you as we get up those. There's some really rude things, there's the New York Times, I'm guessing that's where they do the news or print the papers or something, I don't actually know, something like that I think. <laughs> not 100% sure. Vendors on the corner. Yes, we've got a lot of these on every corner. Reasonable food, New York food for a very cheap price. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a Dala Pinsa subway. We rode on the subway today. <laughs> and this is the road. And when you've got a red hand, it means stop. And when you've got a green person walking, it means walk. <laughs> and when you've been hit by a car, you're dead. Yeah, that's when you know you shouldn't have walked. <laughs> and if you need to go to a strip joint, there's men, ones for there's men and women. Yeah, there's really rude places down here. It's a little bit... Apparently this street used to be known as like, what, the Sex Street or something? Back in the day. Back in the day. Oh no, look, it's got the shutters down. Oh, what are we going to go to? Hot and crusty. Okay, right. Our Chinese we were going to go to is now got the shutters down. Does Jeremy make me dizzy? Go to hot and crusty. Yes. Oh, I see. Where are you? So we're now heading over somewhere just to find something to eat. Dollar. Also, you can get a lot of food for very cheap. Dollar pizza, dollar burger and dollar fries. Yes. So we're heading over to see what Hot and Crust is all about. <laughs> it says it's open. It means the same as it does in Essex. <laughs> Which it's means you're going to be in the GUM clinic by tomorrow morning at nine. <laughs> we went there, we got a dollar burger from there on our first night and it was horrible. It was horrible, so we're definitely not going back there. Joe, we're heading past Hot and Crusty. <laughs> oh. Look at that Hot and Crusty. 
<laughs> and the cars just turn. <laughs> We're heading over there now. And you walk all along these things. It's really scary because we don't know what's underneath. We're just going in here. What can you get? Ribs, look. Can we take them out though? <laughs> so after all that, I'll get chicken from the other shop. What other shop? We're still trying to decide. So what are you going for? How far is it? What? We'll have... There, it's a bit shut. Are there? Okay, right. We're not going there anymore. We're going here. NYC fried chicken. I don't know if it's still open. Yeah, it's got the food still lit up, like the food. That's their ambulance. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh, 